few minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, really happy to be here in Manila and finally able to meet many of you in person. Okay. Um, let me start. Okay, while well, it has been a very challenging uh, for the tourism industry in the last three years due to the pandemic, Hong Kong Tourism Board has consistently maintained our presence in the Philippines market. Some of the initiatives include our award winning campaigns, 100 Reasons to Miss Hong Kong, promotion of our West Kowloon neighborhood and the ongoing 360 Hong Kong Moments campaign, where we have been producing immersive and engaging content to update our consumers on the happenings in Hong Kong. And I, will take, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our media friends and partners seated here today for your unwavering support towards Hong Kong over the past few years and on all our initiatives. During this period, we have also launched our Hong Kong Superfans program. The Hong Kong Superfans community is made up of content creators, artists, celebrities, photographers, and even athletes who adore Hong Kong as a travel destination. We have been keeping this community very active and engaged through virtual tours, media job, and also involving them in our campaigns. We have currently a total of 140 Superfans across Southeast Asia and the community is growing as we speak. And we are really happy to have some of them joining us today at the event. We believe all of you seated here and many Filipino travelers are missing Hong Kong as much as we do. What my colleagues and myself are most looking forward to is to be able to welcome all of you back to experience Hong Kong as soon as possible. What we are very excited to show you here are the new developments in Hong Kong that has taken place over the last three years. There are many new landmarks, attractions, hangouts for you to explore and new experiences that you may not have tried out in Hong Kong before or even places that you may have been familiar with but comes with a pleasant new surprise after so long. I'm glad to share with you this is our latest campaign, 360 Hong Kong Moments, New Adventures and Every Turn. As what the tagline states, there are so many new exciting developments in Hong Kong that at every turn, there will be a new adventure for our travellers. So through this campaign, we hope to give our Filipino travellers inspiration and ideas on how to start preparing their new Hong Kong bucket list and to explore Hong Kong like a Rubik's Cube. Today, I'll be sharing with you some of the key developments and my personal favorites. First of all, arts and culture. One of the most significant developments in Hong Kong is the opening of the West Kowloon Culture District. This is one of the largest cultural projects in the world and has taken almost 20 years to be conceptualized and completed. The pristine stretch over 40 hectares and is home to several iconic and state-of-the-art infrastructure and landmarks. One of them would be M+, Asia's first global museum of modern and contemporary visual art. Before you even visit the gallery, you will already feel its grand presence as it is located at the Victoria waterfront and has a 65 meters tall LED screen displaying different forms of digital art. The screen is one of the largest media facades in the world and is now a permanent part of Hong Kong skyline. Now join me in taking a video walkthrough of what goes inside the gallery.
you have just watched had quickly taken you through N class, then watch it again. <laughs> well, it has quickly taken you through N class, four permanent sets of collection which you must see for yourself when you visit Hong Kong. N plus recently announced its first special exhibition, Yayo Kusama, 1945 to now, that will open on the museum's first anniversary. Um, in November 2020. It will be the largest retrospective of Kusama in Asia outside Japan, comprising more than 200 works to be presented across various locations at N+, including three brand new artworks that will be exhibited for the first time. Next up is Hong Kong Palace Museum, which has officially opened its doors in July. It houses a total of 900 over artifacts, 166 of them are first-class national culture relics, and some of them are displayed to the public for the first time. Other than the amazing exhibits, the, the Palace Museum's architecture and interior design is also something to be marveled at. The interior design echoes the forbidden city in Beijing while carrying a modern touch. Let's all take a close look at the masterpiece. Out of the forbidden city. Chinese culture. A lasting gift for Hong Kong. A new window on China. The Hong Kong Palace Museum. The West Kowloon Cultural District is not just a bug. It's not just for art lovers. The art park is a green open space where visitors can relax, play, play picnic on the lawns, or cycle along the water promenade. In fact, it has become one of the new favourite hangout places to enjoy the view of Victoria Harbour and soak in the sunset. There are also a lot of cosy cafes and dining bistros along the waterfront that you can bring, you can hang out as well. Now speaking about food, let's go to the next set of experiences, shop and dine. The Central Market is the latest addition to Hong Kong's retail scene. Central Market is one of Hong Kong's first wet market, that history dating all the way back to 1842. The current four-story building, which has been retrofitted, was built in 1939. After four years of renovation and preservation work, it is now open to public since last year in August. Central Market is now revitalized and has become a new hangout with shops, F&B, and even event spaces. Here are some examples of some of the concept stores, restaurants that you can look out for when you are at the Central Market. Right, for those who are looking for Instagrammable dining spot, Haha -ha is a place for you. <laughs> so it's pronounced as Haha -ha because it's in Spanish. It actually means Laughing, L O L. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, the interior design of Haha -ha is colorful, fun, whimsical, and every angle seems to be a perfect Instagramable spot. As Haha -ha is located in Hong Kong Art Center, it is conveniently serves as a venue for hosting art exhibitions and tea workshops. Haha -ha only serves vegetarian food, and on its menu, you can also find a whole range of interesting and innovative food creations. Right, speaking of innovation, we would like to also introduce you to South Herbal Lab, which is opened by a traditional herbal house, Wing Sang Tong. The owners have infused the century-old teaching of Chinese medicine into coffees and desserts, as they want to reach out to the millennials. And to introduce them the health benefits of herbal tea. If you are a coffee lover, this is one place that you definitely need to get your coffee, caffeine fix when you're back in Hong Kong. <clears throat> Hong Kong is a home to many world-class attractions and many of these attractions have taken the last three years to upgrade and refresh their offerings as they prepare themselves to welcome back the international travellers. Now let's take a look at some of these new developments. One of the most anticipated attractions is Waterworld Ocean Park, which was opened to the public last year. The water park has a total of five zones and 27 trailing rides. And one of its most iconic rides, which has been going around on social media, is the Rainbow Rush. So if you are a trail seeker, this is perfect for you. 
and you'll be sliding down 100 meters in 10 seconds. Now let's take a look at the next video. stay near the premise of Ocean Park. The Fullerton Ocean Park Hotel just had its soft opening in July. In fact, this is Hong Kong's first Fullerton Hotel and Fullerton's first resort concept in the world. The resort will have 425 rooms and most of them will come with amazing ocean views. When the hotel officially opens at the end of this year, there will also be aquatic family team rooms and outdoor and indoor play zones for the children. Another new attraction would be the Legoland Discovery Centre, which was also opened in K11 Museum Shopping Mall last year. There is a total of 10 team zones for families to explore. One of these zones, Mini Land, you will get to see Hong Kong's iconic landmarks and street scenes that are constructed by 1.5 million Lego bricks. We are also glad to share with you that the sixth generation of the Pig Tram has just reopened in August. We have been looking forward to it since that was closed for upgrade last year. Other than the colour change from burgundy to green, the 700 million Hong Kong dollars upgrade to the carriage has increased its capacity by 75% and to have more friendly features for passengers with special needs. And once you are on the pit, you must visit Monopoly Dreams, the world's first Monopoly theme park, and also to take a selfie or a wifi with Miss Universe PR at the Madame Tossa Museum. Now, last but not least, the happiest place on earth, Hong Kong Disneyland. Hong Kong Disneyland has unveiled its new castle of magical dreams which plays tribute to the 13 stories of Disney princesses and queens. And since June this year, Hong Kong Disneyland Resort has lighted up the skies with its nighttime fireworks and projection show, Momentos, true music and multi-sensory elements that envelop the castle of magical dreams. Guests will be taken on the most magical journey with beloved Disney and Pixar characters. Now, let's take a sneak peek at the most magical show on Earth. Please enjoy the credits. <laughs> glittering skyscrapers but it's not just an urban jungle. When most people first look at these pictures that are coming up, they cannot believe that these are all taken in Hong Kong. From outlying islands to sandy beaches and mountain trails, there's a lot of nature and outdoor activities for you to explore. Right. Well, we are proud to also share that Hong Kong is acclaimed to have one of the best hiking trails in the world. As we expect more travellers to come to Hong Kong for these hikes, we have curated these hiking trails and further categorized them into different levels. So now, this has given hikers with the options to choose the trails that is most suitable for them. For those who are very adventurous, I would personally recommend you to explore Sai Kong. 
Many only know Saigon for its fresh seafood, but there is much more to it. Saigon is home to Hong Kong Unisco Joe Park, where you can get to see hexagonal volcanic rocks and columns that were formed 140 million years ago. In Saigon, you can also go for water sports activities, explore abandoned village, or go rock hunting, and find polo-bun-shaped rocks on its beaches. For those of you who want to stay over in Saigon to enjoy its serenity, you can consider staying over at the newly opened WM Hotel Saigon. It is located at the coastal line of Saigon, and you can enjoy the majestic sea view from the comfort of the pool, or its infinity pool. Here's our brand new great outdoor video that shows the sights of Hong Kong, beautiful greenery through a drone. See, in the past three years of Amor, there has been a lot of new developments in Hong Kong, and we can't wait for you to come explain them all. Right? So, thank you very much, and see you soon. It's really time.